Hello everyone, I'm Adam from the iNimble Sloth channel and in this video I'll be comparing the output from both of these HDMI adapters. The one on the left is the OSSC or Open Source Scan Converter. I purchased mine from Amazon and they cost around about £140. The one on the right is from Neotech and this is a cheap offering from Amazon which comes in at around about £15. So let's compare the output from these two devices and see is the OSSC worth the extra money? Once powered on, the OSSC boots to the firmware screen that you can see here. The next thing to do is select the necessary input that we wish to use. Since I'm going to be connecting my ZX Spectrum clone through AV1 the SCART connector using RGB, I need to select the RGB signal, which is button one on the remote. The OSSC is now trying to sync the RGB signal on its input AV1. Since my spectrum is not on yet, it will have a difficult time. So let's power on the spectrum and see what happens. The OSSC is now receiving the input signal and is outputting to the HDMI socket, ready for me to record. To achieve the picture quality that you will see in this video, there are a few extra settings that must be applied to this device. To access these settings, press the menu on off button on the remote. Then scroll up or down using the next or previous buttons until you come to video in proc. Then press the OK button. I changed the B slash PB offset to 90. I changed the G slash Y offset to 100. I changed the R slash PR offset to 106. The color space I left default. I changed video LPF to 9 MHz SDTV. I changed the pre ADC gain to 15. Now this setting I felt was the most important as it directly controlled the brightness setting. It is important to note that unless you save these settings, they will be lost when you turn off the OSSC. To save the settings, navigate one level up in the menu by pressing the back button. Now scroll through the menu using the next button until you get to settings option. Enter this using the OK button. And if you're not already on the save profile, Navigate up or down through the menu using the next or previous buttons. Once on the save profile screen, it's just a case of using the left or right arrow on the remote control to choose a location that you would wish to save these settings to, and then press the OK button to save. Exit from the menu using the back button, and the back button again. If you wish to turn off the LCD backlight, this can be done using the LCD backlight off on button on the remote control. As this demo does not have any fantastic 80s synth computer music, I'll talk over it. Now the first thing I notice is the colours. The colours on the cheaper Neotech device are darker and washed out. Also when you look at the checkered pattern, it is not as sharp as the more expensive OSSC device. The yellow from the composite video that's been converted looks quite horrid compared to the yellow on the left. And here you can see the Neotech is clearly struggling to convert the composite video to a clean HDMI picture, whereas the OSSC is having no trouble whatsoever.
A nice feature of the OSSC is the ability to give the picture the look and feel of an old school CRT monitor. This is achieved by pressing the scanline type button on the remote and then increasing the intensity of the effect by pressing the scanline mode button or decreasing the intensity of the effect by pressing the scanline int button. Now that the picture has an old school CRT feel to it, let's run an old school program. Well, I hope you like those demos on my ZX Spectrum clone. Uh, but the question on everybody's mind is, is this worth the extra money? Um, my opinion is if you need an HDMI signal to record or your TV only supports an HDMI signal, then this device is probably the best way of getting a good quality picture on your TV or onto your capture device. However, if your television already supports a SCART input, which many TVs are no longer supporting, but if your television does still support this SCART and the SCART has got an RGB connection on there, then you might as well just stay with the RGB as it's going to save you around about £140. So in that case, it's well worth it. But if you don't have a SCART connection on your TV, then yeah, definitely, I think it's, it's the way forward. And I really like the... Um, the scanline options on there so you can make it look and feel like you're pay playing your game there on uh, an old school CRT monitor. Is the other device worth it? Well, again, if your TV has got a composite input, then no, it's not really worth it. Uh, even though it's only 15 pounds, I think you're gonna get a better quality picture there with the composite. However, if your TV or capture device does not have composite input and you can only use an HDMI signal, then yes, of course, it's worth doing it. But of the two devices, definitely the OSSC, in my opinion, produces the better quality picture and um, is worth the extra money. But please be aware that this does not take a composite input. It's only supporting the RGB on this uh, SCART connection here. Okay, so... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and um, see you in the next video. Bye.